How's everyone doing today? It's CJ Halleck with CJHalleck.com. And if you're following along, we are going through the different elements for the Elemental WordPress Page Builder plugin. Um, we've gone through the first four in the video so far. The next one we're going to be covering is the video element. So we're going to go ahead and drag the video element in to create a new section. Um, we have the video open. Um, of course, you can choose uh, Vimeo, Dailymotion, or self-hosted, aside from the obvious YouTube. The one thing I want to emphasize um, and recommend, actually, is that you do not use, um, unless you have a massive, like a, a, a dedicated server, or VPS, where you can actually control and make sure that you have the right bandwidth and, and whatnot for your um, website. I wouldn't recommend self-hosted. Um, you can do YouTube just as well, and I would highly recommend that you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do YouTube, and we're going to come over to YouTube here. Um, and I'm going to grab this very first video by Gary Vaynerchuk. And if you don't follow Gary Vaynerchuk, and here's a video. Um, it's on Facebook. I wanted to use this originally, but it's not on uh, YouTube. And it's Lighthouse by Ian Talbert. It's a really cool video, uh, motivational video. I'd recommend watching it if you're on Facebook. Uh, but anyway, so we're at the YouTube video that we want to use in our element. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to share. And then we're going to copy. And this will copy the actual URL for this. And it's actually like a short URL, but it works just the same. And we're going to come over here, paste it in the URL field. And then now if if the video is a longer video and you don't want to show the entire video, you can actually come in and choose when to start and when to end the video. Um, it's my opinion that you're better off making, you know, just cropping that video down to what you need and then re uploading it as long as it is your video. Don't try to steal people's stuff. Um, but making sure the video is made specifically for what that page needs um, or the blog post or whatever the case may be. Um, so, the next thing is autoplay. This is one I strongly recommend against. The, the option is there, but there's a because autoplay was such a huge thing earlier in the, if you will, website days, um, a lot of people will automatically X out if they do autoplay. You have to really think about what are people doing when they're visiting your website. And there's a good possibility that answer is they're at work. Um, so you want to make sure that you're, you know, they don't get on your web page to get information about, you know, your business or, you know, your services or products or, you know, find more information out about how they can follow you online or whatever the case may be. And as soon as they open your website, a video starts playing. The, there's a good possibility you might lose that person. They may X out immediately. So I would recommend that. Um, if you just want the video to play and you don't want the music or, or, or the audio behind it, you can mute it. You can choose to loop it. Um, player controls, you can choose to show that. Um, so if you turn that off, when it's actually playing the video, you can't actually get the controls. So let me turn that back on so you can see what I'm talking about. So all these controls down at the bottom, if you turn this off, it will take that away. So as you're watching the video, they don't have a way to actually fast forward. Hold on. There we go. Uh, they don't really have a way to fast forward or rewind or anything else. Um, and really, the only time you would want to, you know, consider using this is if you're doing like a sales uh, sales video. Um, because with sales videos, you want to make sure that they don't just skip straight to how much it costs. You want to be able to make sure that they see the benefits and the, and the features and everything else that goes with it. Of course, the video info, you can hide that as well, which is all the information across the top, um, I believe, right? I couldn't get any entry I thought. level job in the um, company. Maybe it's the stuff, I don't know. Uh, I don't normally touch this stuff. I normally just leave it as is. Um, you can do branding, suggested videos, privacy mode. Um, privacy mode basically hides the information from YouTube as far as the people who are actually watching the video through your website. Um, 
if you're tracking uh, the traffic to your videos and trying to figure out what you're ranking for and where the traffic is coming from within YouTube, then I would highly recommend that you turn this on. If that's not the case, um, you really don't have a need for it. Um, moving down the list, you can do an image overlay, which is basically a thumbnail. Um, but if you do YouTube, you know, if you're uploading your videos properly, you should have a custom thumbnail for each video you upload, and that will be, you know, just like Gary's. This isn't part of the video. This is a thumbnail for the video. So just like that, you want to make sure that you have that there, and you won't even have to worry about the image overlay, unless you're using someone else's video. Um, you know, if it's an educational piece or something, you may want to use someone else's video and just add your own image overlay with your watermark, you know, with your logo and branding and everything else, um, just to make it, you know, make it look like it's something that you put your brand behind and whatnot so it doesn't look as you know really cheesy unless it's like this with Gary's where it has a nice thumbnail you might want to just leave it as is but anyways next thing we're going to do is go into the style um, and basically the only thing we're doing on the style here is deciding the ratio um, so if you want it super widescreen you know you can do it like that if you want it you know bot like more like old school boxed out however you want to do it um, but right now the way the internet is going um, I would recommend and it also you want to make sure that your video is in that format um, and you don't go too much one direction or the other it might ruin the video but you know if you're 16 by 9 21 by 9 those are the two that are working the most those are the, the uh, ratios that are you know videos are filmed with with iPhones and droids and all that stuff Next thing is advanced, just as before. Um, advanced works the same. Margin padding, all that fun stuff, you know. And that's you know, make sure padding is. Remember, um, if you see the fine blue line on the outside of the video, that is the frame of that element. Margin is everything on the outside of the frame. Padding is on the inside of the frame. So you can come in here, and it's basically this right here where you saw it shrink down. That is the padding. And then if you go margin, we'll go 25 as well. That's the margin, that's the spacing between this line and this line. So it's up to you. You can use this stuff. Um, be creative, have some fun with it. But that is the video element for Elementor. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you guys like the video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and be sure after you subscribe to click the bell to get notifications when I upload new content. That being said, thank you guys so much for spending time with me. Once again, my name is CJ Halleck with CJHalleck.com. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Be great, stay boosted, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.